Philip Morris sold 580 billion cigarettes last year. Marlboro is the best-selling consumer packaged product on earth. And today, a Catholic priest and stockholder asked the company to stop making them. Our cigarettes feed on people's addiction to nicotine. Our company is feeding on addiction to profits. There's a lot of fuss about something here on, on cigarettes, which is really un, uh, difficult sometimes for us to understand when the business is not just legal in the United States in terms of manufacturing, selling and consuming the product, but in every single country in the world. For the first time in the 10 years we've been trying to deal with the company, uh, the secretary of the company came up to me afterwards and said, let's talk seriously about this. It's the first time that's happened. The proposal was, of course, easily defeated, 98 to 2 percent. The chairman of the board says he can't conceive of a Philip Morris without its tobacco business. But cigarettes are playing less of a role in the future of this company. Some watered-down version of a regular beer. The company now sells beer, salad dressing, through Miller and Kraft General Foods. Last year, only 39% of its business came from tobacco products. The company sold 5% more cigarettes last year, but overall, Americans smoked about 3% less. So our ability to grow is, is only comes from increasing in market share. 17th century Virginia settlers discovered the Indian's golden leaf that became TV's dancing cigarette. Philip Morris opened this London pipe shop in 1847, this Richmond factory in 1929. Can you imagine a, a Richmond without Philip Morris making cigarettes? No, I couldn't. I've been there for 20 years, and I don't know of anywhere where I could go or where anybody else would go would make the kind of money I'm making, because I'm making almost $20 an hour, you know, and I run a machine, and it's an easy job. Fitzgerald hopes and expects the company that employs 11,000 like her can cope with a changing future without ever abandoning its past. Peter Rosen, WTVR News 6.